what is up, Ferret Nation? It is I, Yemi the Ferret here, with another episode of YemiCast, a video game podcast on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts, I mean, and uh, YouTube. I, uh, did I say that? I don't know. That doesn't matter. Anyways, I am here. Uh, we, we're going to be talking some American football. That's right. America. And of course, if I talk American football, I got to bring in the one, the only, the master of Madden. <laughs> Not Ryan Moody. It's Nick, a.k.a. Greedy Waffle. Hello, hello. Hold the pause. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're not a chicken like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I what forgot to do the applause, but uh, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. The applause uh, is going now. Nick. No, mood is over. A little like, um, it was, people were still getting into their seats, you know? They, they were, uh, uh I can't, I can't explain it. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Anyways. Dad, uh, I'll just take my F. How how are you doing today? What's up? Uh, it's nice, nice day outside. Sky blue, opposed to being purple or red or black. Um, so that's always a plus, right? Right. I I suppose so. Uh, we're not. Uh, there's no hurricanes going on. There's no droughts. Uh, there's no uh, famines. There's no uh, large. Well, actually, there are large insects, but at least they're not violent. No locusts around, you know. It's a great day. <laughs> well, cicadas are close, but uh, you know. Hey, hey, you know, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. Hey, Mister Predicto, um, uh, are we gonna have a good time on the podcast today? The answer is yes. Hooray! <laughs> All right, Let's go. So let me explain what we're doing today. So I came up with this idea. For a uh, good start or bad shart. That's right. A shart is the act of having a fart and it being... There's poop comes out and then it's called a shart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, essentially, we just... Uh, we're going to go through the list of all the all the NFL teams right now. And we're going to go sing one by one. We're going to say if they've had a good start this year or a bad start. Or as we call it in the biz... A bad shirt. So, can they have a half shirt? <laughs> I said just a full, full on. It's shirt. a full on shirt or a full on clean underwear. That's that's okay. what we'll say. <laughs> all right. And then at the end of it all, uh, I believe uh, Nick has his top five teams so far. Uh, we're going into week three. Uh, most of the teams are either. Uh, I'm four. We're going into week four. <laughs> uh, there's a good amount of teams that are zero and th- uh, or three and zero this year. Three wins, and zero losses, and we'll get to those teams, of course, in the near future. But Nick, I'm gonna let you choose the order in which we talk about the teams. Uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> Start with the AFC South. Is is that what you meant, or? Just pick a team and go Just with it. pick a team and oh. fly with me. Come fly, let's fly away. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start off with um, a tough one: San Francisco 49ers. That is so crazy. I was on the San Francisco 49ers page as you said that. Ah, oh, that is so weird. Hey, great number nine, sink alike. I guess so. So San Fran is uh, one of those surprise teams this year. Um, they, they, they are three and oh, they've won all three of their, their games and going into last week's game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That was a game that they had to win to prove that they weren't just uh, joking around. They weren't just giving us a laugh. You know, they put up a good fight. They won 24 to 20. And I think I have more confidence in the 49ers going forward, which doesn't spell well for the Cleveland Browns, but it's, <laughs> it's good for San Francisco fans. Yeah, this is a full-on clean underwear. I mean, <laughs> this, <it's, laughs> so far it looks good. Um, they uh, their defense has really improved. Uh, I think I saw a stat the other day. It was like the whole defense had four turnovers throughout the whole sixteen-week season, and then within four weeks, they, they already have like five turnovers, six turnovers. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, so they, they definitely kind of improved that. Road. Yeah. Right now, they they have about 246 passing yards, which is the 14th in the league, but they have 175 rushing yards, which is on the ground, and they are fourth overall, which is pretty crazy. 
seeing yeah. as last year, uh, it didn't look like they had a hope last year. No. And uh, through the draft, I think they got some better key players on the team, uh, including a defensive end, Nick Bosa. Hey, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's a beast. I mean, they're lucky that they got him. So they drafted well. So they're definitely clean underwear for them. <clears throat> definitely clean underwear. What do you think of Jimmy Garoppolo? Uh, I mean, we haven't seen much from him, so I think so far he's... 739 (laughs) passing yards, mister? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, he's doing good. Um, Hopefully he can keep it up, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, they really... I don't don't recall the schedule, but I want to say they haven't really played anyone. I mean, Pittsburgh's not good. Um, Who else do they play? I'm not Uh, sure. They played Cincinnati, Tampa Bay, um, but they're coming up on a... You know, they're coming up to Los Angeles Rams. They're going to play Cleveland, uh, a Monday game, another Monday game we have, which I believe is the week after this one. And then they also have to go to M&T Bank Stadium to play the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, so, yeah, the real challenge was Tampa Bay because Tampa Bay has a real good defense. But, yeah, I mean, he's he's lighting up the field, so it's good for him. You know, he learned under Tom Brady, so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. why they had to get him out of uh, New England. That's why they, he has no flags called against him. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> um, anyways, I think we, I think that we're in agreement that this is a uh, clean underwear. They, they have had a good start, and as I said at the beginning of this, uh, they're going to have to keep proving that they, that they, you know, they, they got to go to, they got to go to the Los Angeles Rams Stadium, and they have to beat them. Um, they have to go to Washington and blow them out like they did their first two games. Um, they have to come to Cleveland and lose, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, I think, uh, I think, and their schedule isn't too bad. Uh, they, of course, they have to play Baltimore and New Orleans and the Seahawks, but for the most part, they have a pretty easy going schedule. Uh, so we'll see uh, where they end up at the end of the year. Are they Super Bowl contenders? Nicholas? Uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't say this year. <laughs> Not this year. All right, let's move on. Who are we going to next? Uh, let's do uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Dow ass. Cowboys. <laughs> um, I had to find them real quickly. <laughs> Where are they on my list? Yeah. Well, are. I'll start off with them. I mean, sure. they, so far, they had a really 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 easy schedule they played the dolphins they played uh the giants giants in washington and they those games they look great they won by more than i want to say 15 points in each game um so the real test is coming up this week i think they play uh new orleans new orleans yes and uh so the test will be this i I say so far it's a clean under (laughs) <laughs> yeah, uh, Dallas Cowboys have won all three of their games. Of course, they've had a pretty uh, pretty light first three weeks. So, like you said, New Orleans this weekend, and then, of course, Green Bay after that. So it's going to be two pretty tough games in a row, and we'll see if the Cowboys really deserve a, you know, as high as they are on Madden's charts. Um, yeah. They didn't really move around anything during the offseason. It just seems like players healed up. Oh, let me heal you. <laughs> and uh, they are on the field now. Um, but uh, so far, they are about 481 yards total passing and rushing, which doesn't seem that big. But they're third overall, so I guess I guess uh, it, it it works. <laughs> um, and Dak Prescott, of course, with Ezekiel Elliott, uh, pretty good, pretty good combo there. Um, I have but- a, I have Amari Cooper in my fantasy team, so he's been lighting it up for me. So lighting it up, <laughs> lighting it up. Dak uh, Prescott has thrown for 920 yards so far and nine touchdowns, which is pretty good. Um, I know, I mean, last year the Cowboys didn't seem to have it all together, but this year it seems like they've, they, they're kind of, I mean, so far they're, they're, they're tightened up. Um, but, uh, as, as, as I always say, uh, we shall see. <coughs> we shall see indeed. Uh, Cowboys week three clean underwear. I think we're both in agreement. Uh, yes. No shart in here. Uh, oh, no, I've been forgetting no to do sh- the, the the sound effects. No sharts yet, so that's good. No sharts yet. All right. So uh, what what's next? Um, well, 
Let's do uh, the Denver Broncos. Oh no! <laughs> we, we have we had to do a shot. <laughs> well, the Denver Broncos have lost all three of their games this year uh, against Oakland, Chicago, and Green Bay. Uh, their game against Oakland was pretty good, but uh, bad luck happened in the Chicago game, and then uh, Green Bay, of course, kind of dominated them through the whole game. They got Jacksonville next week, uh, which is a bit of a more even match. Uh, but uh, it doesn't seem like Joe Flacco has uh, done well, too much for the team so far. It seems like no. the it seems like, uh, they kind of wasted money there. Yeah. yeah, the Baltimore legend that was supposed to be so good, and he's not doing too hot in Denver. But their defense is supposed to be like one of the best defense in the NFL. I mean, their secondary is what took them to the Super Bowl a couple years ago. You know, they quote unquote said, you know. And they know that's how uh, defense don't win championships, whatever, all started. So <laughs> that's how that originated. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just nothing's working. I mean, last year, in 2018, the running back was like the number one running back for the longest time. And he hasn't done anything this season. So whatever they did over there, new head coach, new coordinator, I believe. And it's just they're sharding everywhere. <laughs> And also, um, Chubb, the linebacker, is out uh, with an injury, which is obviously going to affect them. And also, Jawan James uh, is also out as well, which is a, uh, I believe he's a tight end? Sure. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, this is a this is a big, wet shart. This is not a clean record, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, Broncos, can they come back though, Nick? Uh, zero and three, can they come back? What's their schedule look like? Let's see. Um, so it, besides from Jacksonville, uh, they also have, I mean, they have Tennessee, Cleveland, the Chargers, uh, Kansas City, and Houston. It looks like they, uh, no, yeah. they're not coming back. <laughs> no, I, uh, I think it's just a downhill slate. I mean, maybe they can do something to get a spark in that. That offense or something, but I don't think they're coming back. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let's let's move along now, little doggy. Where are we at now? Um, uh, let's move on to the Arizona Cardinals. Hmm. Arizona Cardinals. So Arizona actually has a tie on their on their list. They tied Detroit in their in their season opener, uh, but they've of course lost to Baltimore and Carolina. So I'm um, actually they had the number one pick one... all overall with uh, Kyler Murray too. Yeah, I'm actually going to say they're a clean, clean, clean underwear. Really, surprisingly, yes, yeah. because all their games have been close. Uh, besides last week, I think the Panthers dominated them, but um, the quarterback looks good. The number one quarterback they took overall. No, he looks good. And they're lose, losing these close games. I mean, they're and it's a shootout too. So I think uh, just if their defense was a little better, they could be pulling these out. But it's just about you know finishing those games, which they haven't been able to do. So that's why I'm giving them a clean, clean shirt. Now, if they're losing like every game, like to the Lions, like 40, 40 to nothing, you know, like, but they haven't been. They tied with the Detroit, and then who was the second week? I think they uh, Baltimore. Baltimore, I think they – that was a close game, I want to say, right? Yeah, that game was a 17-23 to 23 loss. So, I mean, they're, they're still in it. They're scoring points. So it's just mm-hmm. that defense got to come through and help them out a little bit, you know? Yeah, their schedule isn't uh, – it doesn't let up on them, though. They have, uh, of course, next week they have uh, – C- or this week they have Seattle – uh, they're also going to have to go to Mercedes Mercedes Benz Stadium and beat New Orleans. They yeah. are going against San Francisco, Tampa Bay, the Chargers, uh, uh, Cleveland, of course, and then they have to go back and beat Seattle and Los Angeles again to even try and be in uh, the wild card. Um, I think uh, I think they got a little bit of dirty underwear here. I think um, I mean you lose two games, close games, uh, and then you tie one, of course. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, yeah, they should have definitely beat that Detroit game. Time's not going to help them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just it's going to be a rocky road, I think, for Arizona this year. The rest of this year, um, and I think really, I think I think we'll start to see something towards the end of the year. But yeah, yeah not nothing right now. I don't think. I think I think they I think they sharded. A little sharp, but no, just a little spots here and there. But it's not a full on. 
It's not a full <laughs> one. Well, we agree oh. to disagree, so we're going to do both the sound effects at the same time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where are we going <laughs> next? <laughs> All right, let's go to Seattle Seahawks. Oh, Seattle. Um, Seattle, the record, nice, two and nice one. city. Yeah, the record is two and one right now. Uh, they lost against New Orleans, but look, come on, uh, New Orleans is a is a tough place to beat them, even without yeah. Drew Brees. Um, but they, they have barely been, lost, though. It's not like yeah. well, they've lost had by like four or five points. I think each of their games have been close. They actually won against Cincinnati by one point, and they won against Pittsburgh by two points. Uh, and they lost to New Orleans by about a touchdown. So it's it, it's been a little bit of a rough patch, um, just kind of struggling against these teams that should have probably been a more dominant game. But uh, yeah. what do you, what do you think? What do you think of um, their star quarterback, Russell Wilson? Uh, I, I give Seattle overall a shirt because Ooh. they 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 should be dominant because Russell Wilson is one of the top tier quarterbacks. Uh, their issue is their defense has got weaker, and they have no receivers to throw to besides Tyler Lockett, which he's a good receiver. But mm-hmm. uh, the offense, uh, like you said, barely beat the Bengals. I mean, come on, the Bengals, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, barely beat Pittsburgh again. Come on, Pittsburgh. So they should they should be winning these games more. I um, mean, yeah, the Saints were a close loss, but they still lost. Um, so I'm going to give them a slight shark here. Yeah, I do agree with you. Uh, like I said, these two teams that they won against, it was too close. Just too close. I know that, you know, every week is a new game, but when you're going against Cincinnati and, I mean, I guess it wasn't September 15th. I think this was before Roth- uh, Roethlisberger was out. I mean, they still had a really close game. Um, but uh, to prove yourself, you have to beat the better teams, and they lost against no, New that Orleans. Was the game he was out in. Oh, it was the game. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how they go for the rest of the year. Uh, usually, I mean, it seems like every year the Seattle ends up in the playoffs at least by some wild chance. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> but uh, right now, they don't seem to be looking too hot. Like, I, like they have Arizona next week or this week, I should say. Then they have the Rams <clears throat> and Cleveland. So we'll see how they do against some teams that might put up a little bit more of a fight, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, Russell Wilson, 901 yards passing and seven touchdowns, though, which is uh, nothing to scoff at. But yeah. That's why he gets 300... paid the big numbers. <laughs> right, but only 390 yards, which is ninth in the league. Uh, could do better. Could do better. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're in agreement. It's a little bit of a shark. <laughs> All right, next uh, we'll go to Indianapolis. Indianapolis Colts. Oh, okay. See, Luck. Yeah, well, you know, this is a team that I like. Um, Andrew Luck is gone, and Jacoby Brissett has come out and proven himself. I mean, going into this year, I wasn't too sure about Brisket, Br- Brissett because uh, he just, I don't know, he, 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 he didn't really play last year. And, of course, they put him on the field pretty much only when they had to make big Hail Mary throws. And yeah. he, he came out, and they, I mean, they beat Tennessee by a small margin, and they also beat Atlanta by a small margin. And, of course, they lost to the Chargers by a pretty small margin. So I think that the team is going to start growing a little bit more around Brissett being the quarterback, <clears throat> and I think that this team can actually get to the playoffs again this year without without Mr. Luck. Maybe luck will come back. <laughs> I doubt it. I, I doubt it. Uh, yeah, so I give them clean. I give them clean undies because, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, they lost to uh, Chargers, which they should have won that game, but and they barely won against Tennessee. Um, but you no, know, dealing what they're dealing with. I mean, new quarterback, their old quarterback that was supposed to supposedly win MVP this year. You no, know, just got up and said, all right, I'm going to head out. Pretty yeah. much to that way, he's like, see you guys. So I give them clean shirts so far. I think, uh, like you said, it's going to get better. They're going to – chemistry is going to build up, and they're going to get used to each other. And I, I see this team in the playoffs. Yeah, and their schedule isn't too stacked. The, they have to go to Oakland this week. And but next win. week they have Kansas City, which is a bit yeah. of a tough one. 
yeah. but really they don't have anyone like super out of their range until uh, the end of the season when they have to go against New Orleans. So I think that the they have a nice little more lighter schedule this year. And mm-hmm. I think they, as long as, uh, you know, these teams don't like boost all of a sudden in, in power, um, you know, I think a Houston game should be a close one both times and Jacksonville might be a close one, but for the rest of them, uh, should be a, a nice, easy win. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm Keep with, ja- I'm them. with Jacoby Brissett. Okay. I'm with him. <laughs> uh, I, I don't normally root for the Colts, but, uh, you know, I, 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 he's on my fantasy team, Jacoby, and, uh, he's been doing pretty well. So yeah, we got some clean underwear here. Uh, good start. Good start. Uh, there's a sound effect. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Moving right along. Uh, yes, sir. Let's go to Buffalo Bills. Three and zero. Next week they have a tough matchup against the Patriots. Last week they beat the Bengals twenty-one to seventeen. So yeah, I think that's a clean, clean nundies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, they the Bills have really surprised me this year, especially and after. Everyone else. <laughs> well, yeah, last year was such a get knocked down and don't get back up season. Uh, the quarterback uh, Josh Allen, Allen, I mean, he was sacked so much and like he looked good, but behind a pile of trash, it's hard to look <laughs> good. Like, um, but he ended up keeping with the Bills and. They've won all three of their games, and it's not mm-hmm. like they've played the most insane opponents. New York Jets, New York Giants, and Cincinnati, three teams that are not Cincinnati looking too good this year. Too, so. Yeah, but uh, now they got to go to New England. Um, they have a really good defense. Both uh, Buffalo Bills have a really good defense, um, and the offense is doing okay. Um, so far, Josh Allen has thrown for only 750 yards and three touchdowns, but... He has a 66 percentage on completion, which is pretty good uh, for this level team. So yeah, I think um, I think he, they got some clean undies in in, in Buffalo, but we That's gotta see it against we, yeah we gotta see against uh, <laughs> New England this week, um, and then the rest of the year. I think they got a not a decent. They have a pretty decent schedule. Really, New England is the only well, and the Ravens are the only teams that will cause them so much problems that it, it might expose some weaknesses but so far doing pretty good doing um yeah i mean i'm not buying into the hype uh the first three weeks were pretty easy considering they almost lost to the Bengals last week um and i mean if they beat the patriots this week I mean i'm all i'm wrong i'll admit i'll come on for a 30 second or 10 second <laughs> for your podcast and say guys i was wrong guys uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh but I'm not buying into the hype. Uh, I mean, their schedule is pretty easy. I'm, I I don't think Josh Allen is all that. Um, so I mean, I'm not buying into it. But they look good so far. You no know, playing the, you no know, the not so good team, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. well, I'm not comeback, buying into it. The comeback against the Jets was was really good, and that's when they had Sam Darnold before he got mono. Let's let's make sure we repeat <laughs> that ten times today. Um, but I do agree. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not like hype hype for them, but I do I am liking what I see from the team and they gotta prove it this week. They gotta prove yeah. it on Sunday. Uh they have to show that, hey, we're here. If it's a close if it's a close loss, I'll I'll believe in the hype a little bit more. If it's a close win, I'll believe in the hype even even more. You got even big big numbers. Big numbers. <laughs> they gotta put up big numbers and they also get but big clean underwear. It's at New England, and New England looks like a powerhouse again, so especially yeah. with that defense. Well, we'll talk about them uh, <clears throat> whenever we talk about them. But for right now, uh, Buffalo let's... Bills, they got the good start. All right, let's move on to the Washington Redskins. Oh, no. Uh, so <laughs> I, we actually have two people in the Discord who root for the Washington Redskins, Coco Gamer and the Nomad. Um, rest in peace, I guess I should say, at the beginning of this. Uh, the Redskins have started off the year looking not... I mean, they started off... The, that game against Philadelphia, that first half was, like, so explosive, so good. Um, I believe they have Case Keenum as their quarterback. Yep. But all of a sudden, with each week, they've kind of digressed. They've yeah, gone they back. to win. Or lose. Lose. Or yeah. lose. Find new ways to lose. Um, um, I that, mean, that coach, Chicago Gruden, game 
was was so bad. I mean, they they tried to do a QB sneak. What, what was it? Third and nine or something like that. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, I don't remember that. They I have to go rewatch that. Yeah, watch those highlights. You'll see it. It was it's been memed out of existence. Oh jeez. Yeah, that's that. Like I said, they find new ways to lose. Um, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not that coach over there. Is something else, me and uh, Gruden, I think his name is. I could be wrong. Um, yes, it is. He's 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 on the hot seat right now. I mean, his seat is starting to boil a little bit. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he's. He's going to start doing that dance on the seat. Um, so he's on the watch. Um, I don't get, I mean, their Keenum threw five picks in within two quarters, I believe, last Monday. And they mm-hmm. won't put in their backup. It's like, come on. Like, so if we throw four picks, you should be out. I mean, they lost 31 to 15. So it's, it's like, you know, what's, what's there to lose? Go with the new guy. Always go with the new guy. Look at the Giants. Go with the new – look at the Jaguars. Go with the new guy, the young guy. <laughs> <laughs> and their schedule isn't that easy this year. They have Minnesota, New, York, uh, new England, um, San Francisco, uh, Detroit. I mean – they have a pretty weighted and heavy uh, 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 schedule this year. But they so, got Giants next week, so. Yeah, they got the, well, we'll talk about the Giants in a little bit. Uh, Giants might be uh, moving up in the rankings. Um, but, uh, yeah, true. for right now, Washington Redskins, the racist, the most racist <laughs> team in the NFL, they're laying a big, big chart right now. And uh, we can only hope that they get better, but uh doesn't seem like it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a really big fart on that one. Okay, uh, let's, right, let's, let's move away. <laughs> let's move to a team in Ohio. Uh, oh. Let's go Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, Bengals. Uh, so Cincinnati has lost all three of their games. Um, they do not have an easy schedule this year. And nor did they last year. But the team is just not coming together. A uh, big loss against San Francisco. A close game against Buffalo and Seattle. But still losses, still L's on the board. Andy Dalton throwing for 979 yards. But is he really that good? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, this is why I asked pretty much, like, can they do a half shirt? Because they don't look that bad. I mean, yeah, that loss to San Francisco is like 40, like, 40 to 10 or something like that which was bad but you know seattle they barely lost to and the bills they barely lost to i mean that's pretty impressive i guess i mean it's not like they're getting blown out every game like they were last year with uh but they have a new coach new coordinator so you know things take time to build so i'm gonna give them like a half shirt a half shirt. Uh, yeah. I, I I'd give him a full one. I mean, uh, just because because the the segment is good start or bad shirt, and their their start has been bad. <laughs> uh, uh, the the only good thing is that they didn't lose by more than ten points in in the in the two in the two of the three games. Yeah, um, I guess that's true. I guess the other the one good thing is they have no injuries right now. Which also could be a bad thing because they're playing at full strength right now and they're losing all three of their games. But, you know. <laughs> um, next week, or yeah, next Monday they go to Pittsburgh uh, to, to fight against them. They got to win this game. If they don't win against Pittsburgh, who is pretty well down and out right now, um, yo, you're, 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 you're not, you know, it's, it's probably not going to get better for them. <laughs> I think that's a Monday night game too. So. Yes, Monday, Monday night football. It's Monday <laughs> night game on. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, we'll give them a half a shot for right now. Okay, uh, moving on to the Pittsburgh Squealers. Uh, record <laughs> zero <and> three. <laughs> <laughs> record is zero and three. <laughs> Stop it. That was good. That was a good. One. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Browns fan here, you know, got to hate yeah. on the Steelers. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've lost um, all three of their games. Ben, lost uh, Ben Burger. So yeah, like, <laughs> Ben Worthless Burger is out with an elbow injury. Um, he didn't injure it exactly on that game with Seattle, but it was something that was hurting him for a while now, as we found out. And he's going to be out the rest of the season, so their backup 
which is Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph has to take the <laughs> reins, and uh, he's gotta he's gotta prove himself. And uh, it seems like Mike Tomlin's up to his old schemes and and ruses still, but uh, the team doesn't look all that well put together right now. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, they they gotta do something. I mean, I know it's a new quarterback, um, but. You know, the whole idea of last year, they they got to be missing Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. You know, one of the was the best wide receiver and was the best running back. <laughs> um, so they got to be shooting themselves in the foot for that one. Um, so they're definitely missing those two key players. Um, they're running back, same as last year, who was very dominant. You know, it's supposed to be the new big thing. He's not doing too well. Um, it's just like the coaching is just he looks like just uninterested. Like he's just there to like get paid. You know, he doesn't look like he's making any adjustments. He's just sitting on the sidelines, hands across his chest, you know, it's just sunglasses on his hats on, you know, it's just, he, (laughs) and he has like no facial expression. It's Mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Um, right now the best player on their team is Juju Smith Schuster, uh, who has 243 receiving yards, uh, one touchdown. Um, He's, I mean, Juju, of course, looks really good, but, you know, the, the team as a whole is looking kind of down right now. Even though they didn't lose too bad to Seattle or San Francisco, it's just, in the, when you watch them play, though, like... It just looks bad. It just looks, yeah, it just lo- it looks like Ben Roethlisberger trying to run for a first, for a first down. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's just, it's a little bit slow, things aren't coming together as well as you would expect them. Doing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, and their schedule is actually pretty light this year, which is good for them since they've lost a couple key players, as you said. Um, mm-hmm. And we'll see how they do against more mediocre teams as the year moves on. But right now, we're giving them a big old shart. All right, we're going to Florida. <laughs> oh, Florida. No. Wait, wait, which Florida <laughs> are we going to? So we're going to go to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, okay. Well, thank right. God. <laughs> Record one and two. Uh, last game lost to the Giants 32 to 31. Ooh, a nail biter. Very close. Very close. <laughs> um, <laughs> next week is Los Angeles. So I'm going to say right off the bat, big shirt. <laughs> big shirt. Yeah, I mean, their quarterback, uh, Winston, uh, not from Overwatch, very on. <laughs> Up and down, very up and down this year, and most years he's very up and down. Um, and we'll see if he gets more in the groove as time goes on. But you know, this is a team that I would, I, I, because I, I like the, t- I like the Buccaneers as a name, and I hope I would wish that they would do a little bit better. But uh, unfortunately, they are fourteenth overall with yardage, uh, three hundred sixty-one yards, um, and. They're not doing too hot. They're they're okay, but they're, they could be better. Could be better. You won against Carolina, uh, but you got to prove yourself against teams like the Giants, the Rams, and of course Carolina again. Um, I I think it's a big shirt. I mean, last week to losing to the Giants just destroyed them because they were up. I want to say thirty-one to like ten, and um, Giants made a seventeen-point comeback. And it's just like, no, that hurts you. Like, as, yeah. like, mentally, physically, not you know, that's so, I think they just, after that, it was just, they're, they're going to sharp from here on out. I mean, yeah, next here, week they got the Rams, so. Here's the uh, here's the quarter-by-quarter quarter for the Giants game versus Buccaneers. So, New York scored three in the first quarter, and Tampa Bay scored 12 points. The next quarter, New York scored seven, and Tampa Bay scored 16, which is, uh, what, about 30 points there? 28 and then here's where the comeback comes in because new york giants scored 15 points in the third quarter and then another seven in the fourth quarter which put them over the edge tampa bay could not come back after that second quarter that's what happens a lot you know we see it in a lot of teams where just like the first washington redskins game the first quarter they're doing great you think they're gonna win an easy win and then all of a sudden yeah where where'd this other team come from all of a sudden (laughs) it's like they went into the locker room and like steroids or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, but uh, yes that yeah. that hurt that loss definitely hurt them so uh 
Yeah, it's going to yeah, be tough big, for them. <laughs> big chart. Big chart. They got a tough schedule this year. Uh, New Orleans and the Rams coming up in the next two weeks. And then they have to go against Carolina again, which isn't a big ask. But after be, after playing two dominant teams, it might it might be. But right now, big chart All right. Well, moving on. Uh, let's go. Speaking of the Giants, let's, do, let's talk about the Giants. All right, New York Giants. One and two. Beat the One Buccaneers, and two. As uh, mentioned above earlier, uh, 32 to 31. Uh, next game is the Redskins. New quarterback. <laughs> New quarterback. Uh, they didn't start, let's, let's say this, they did not start winning until Eli Manning got injured uh, during the... He didn't get uh, injured. <laughs> I thought they were <laughs> they just took him, him out. off the field. They no. just took him out? I they just benched him. Uh, maybe that picture was old that I saw that, uh, or... Or it was just a meme. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they, they just... didn't start winning until Eli Manning was taken out, uh, and the games weren't that close that they lost. Uh, Seventeen to thirty-five at Dallas, and fourteen to twenty-eight Buffalo. This is a team. This is another team that has a lot to prove, uh, and I think with this new quarterback, I think that they'll be able to rise above most of the more mediocre teams on their schedule, and we'll see how they do against the big boys. Yeah, uh, I mean, since this is the first three weeks, I'm giving them a shirt. But uh, from here on out, I don't think it'll be a shirt. I mean, the, that that quarterback looked great. Like, looked sharp. Looked unreal. And uh, although they did take a hit in the running back, their Shaquan Barkley is supposed to be a really good running back. Um, so they took a hit on that. He's out four to eight weeks. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how they do. I mean, if the quarterback's so good, maybe they don't need a running back, you know? Just yeah. just pick them out the field. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Their schedule is a little bit up and down. Um, they have a good mix of good and bad teams. Um, but if they don't if they don't win against all the worst teams on this list, uh, you know, that I'd be a little concerned. But going forward, uh, right now, of course, they start off with a little bit of a shart. We co- we'll call them uh, Eli Sharding. Uh, yeah. And now that they Eli got the new, <laughs> yeah, now that they got the new quarterback in, I think we're going to get to a, uh, you know, the, their underwear will clean up very nicely. But for right now, they're going to throw that underwear in the dryer and wash yeah. it. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Not in that order. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the dryer first, and then they'll put it back. <laughs> Anyways, uh, anyways, but well, yeah, let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> All right, next is the Oakland Raiders. Ah, that the old Oaks. dilemma with uh, Antonio Brown. Yeah, uh, Antonio Brown. Um, that, that <laughs> anyways, was, no, that, we're not talking about it. <laughs> well, that whole situation kind of set up the team for their first win, but after that, uh, it seems like they've gone a little bit downhill. They yeah, beat they the Denver them. pretty easily. But Kansas City and Min- and they were at Minnesota, the Vikings. They lost by a margin of uh, more than 15 points, which is not something you want to see in a team like this that has a good amount of talent on it. Just uh, I think they have they don't have the the right quarterback for this team right now. Yeah, um, I agree with that. Um, obviously, they're sharding right now, but <laughs> <laughs> they're, hemor- they're hemorrhaging shit right now. <laughs> um. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, they had, like, so mom- so much momentum with that whole EB Antonio Brown thing that uh, I think that's why they beat uh, Denver, or Denver's just that bad. <laughs> well, like, when we were watching that game, uh, illegally, uh, we <laughs> I even mentioned, like, well, I want Oakland to win to just prove, you know, that they don't need Antonio Brown. And that's really the only game that I followed them in, which I'm happy about now because uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I did not want to watch those other two games they played. But the first game was, was a nice game. They played well, and then they went against the big boys, and they couldn't they couldn't stand with them. They were a little bit too short. Yeah, um, that coach has a 10-year contract, so that's Woo. that's going to be fun for them. <laughs> he doesn't really have to try until uh, he, he has to renew his contract. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I think we both agree. Big Shart, they're 26 overall in, in total yards, which is one of the lowest in the league. And uh, they didn't really pick up any like key players during the draft so i think they're going to be a little bit down and out this year i did not look at their schedule but uh they got to go against they got the indianapolis Colts. this year this week 
uh, and Chicago, Chicago next week. Green Bay, Houston. Oh boy, they got a bit of a tough schedule. Uh, we'll see where how they fare at the end of the year. But for right now, they got a big nasty shark. I feel like we've been sharking a lot. Let's find one. Uh, <laughs> it must have let's... been that Mexican food. Ah, oh, <laughs> all right. Now let's do Kansas City Chiefs. Ah, the home of Mahomey. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> um, right now three and zero. Uh, last game beat the Ravens thirty-three to twenty-eight. Next week they got Detroit. R.I.P. Detroit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Poor Detroit. Um, <laughs> yeah, this uh, Mahomes looking like a uh, next Tom Brady. He even, has even more, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he has. I think I believe he has more yards than he did last year at this point. Uh, he's at a thousand one hundred and ninety-five yards with ten touchdowns. Who and an eighty-two percent completion ratio. That is damn good. I mean, but, it's like a Madden cheat code. Like, yeah, <laughs> 99 overall in Madden, uh, it came out la- this week. Uh, con- you know, Nick told me that. Uh, I believe it, though. Patrick yeah, Mahomes he, is, he not, um, is not a poser. The hype is real for him, and he's got a good team around him. They just need to strengthen their defense a little bit more. Uh, they let yeah. up a few. They would have f- beat the Patriots last year if it wasn't that dang defense. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, we both agreed, you know, whoever won that coin toss uh, during overtime was going to win, and yeah. unfortunately it was uh, the, the, the the New England Patriots. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, but uh, not close games. Uh, Baltimore was a close game, but the other two wins were not close games. It was forty to twenty six against Jacksonville, and that was when they still had uh, Big Dick Nick in there. And of course, <laughs> Oakland they won uh, twenty eight to ten, which was a bit of a blowout. Could have been a lot more, I think. Um, but I guess uh, Oakland uh, put up a little bit more fight than they were thinking. But the win against Baltimore really solidifies their place in the. Uh, in the AFC West, and I think uh, they're going to be a powerhouse this year, uh, and and I think they're going to go and beat the Patriots in the uh, in the playoffs. Prediction: uh, the NFL officials has heard that, and it's like, oh. <laughs> uh, hold on, <laughs> Not <gonna> I, <laughs> our fantasy team. I have Tom Brady, uh, so he's going to need the win. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right. um, moving on. Yes, we good start. Good start for Kansas. Uh, let's go to Los Angeles Rams. Ah, not the 3-0. Chargers. 3-0, 3-0, beat the Browns last week. They um, should not should, have beat the Browns last week. Should know, yes. <laughs> uh, next week to the Tampa Bay, RIP yeah. Tampa Bay. Yeah, this week, Tampa <laughs> Bay, uh, Seattle, and San Francisco is their next three games. Rams are looking good, but I am not aboard the golf train. I no, don't like golf, golf as a quarterback. Weakest. Yeah, golf uh, is their weakest thing on the team right now. I think the best <laughs> player on their team right now is Cooper Cup. I mean, he is a beast on the field. Uh, against the Cleveland Browns last week, he po- he caught two very. I mean, he was wide open for one touchdown. The other one, he it was in the coverage and it, he caught that ball. Uh, very good game. Uh, wish that I Cleveland would have won. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you have a fantasy. Uh, if you if if you don't follow the Rams, I don't blame you. Uh, they've been a little bit um, under the radar this year with all the other teams kind of overshadowing them. But don't forget that they are, they or they were at the Super Bowl last year, and I think they could get there this year. They just, uh, I think Goff just needs to up his game a little bit more. And um, I think the defense is still pretty good. But if you're letting up uh, 27 points against Carolina, you might want to strengthen that a little bit too. Yeah. I agree. So no sharp from them. Yeah, they they are they have a good start. Yay! Yay! All right, moving on. Next we'll do <laughs> the New Orleans Saints. Record ah, two and one. Beat the Seahawks last week, thirty-three to twenty-seven. Without uh, Drew Brees. Next week they have Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, that, that's going to be a good game. That's a nighttime game on Sunday. Um, that yes. is definitely one you're going to want to tune into, Dallas versus – because they're they're pretty much on even playing fields right now. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater came out uh, during the Los An- – uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, during the Los Angeles Rams game, did not show potential. And then all of a sudden in the Seattle game, there he is. He's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, you remember me? Everyone's like, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> last year, the game before their playoff game, 
uh, or the playoffs started, they were like, yeah, just put Teddy Bridgewater in. We'll see what he can do. A lot of a lot of talk through podcasts and ESPN were saying, oh, if Teddy Bridgewater does good this game, he could be traded for something. You know, he could be a starter for another team. And he stunk. I mean, it was one of the worst games I've seen from the Saints. But he seems to have had a little bit of a comeback. And if he keeps up this, you know, fast passes, lots of, you know, strong running game, you know, he, he could be a good filler for Drew Brees until Mr. Brees gets back in the game, if he gets back in the game. Oh, he will. He better be. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. They do have their one loss. I can't recall who it was to. Uh, they lost against the Rams. The Rams? Okay, so that's, you know, a good loss. So I'll give them clean underwear. They're doing good, especially without Drew Brees. The way they beat Seattle in Seattle, 33-27, mm. to 27, I think yeah. that's a pretty good clean yeah. plate. <laughs> yeah, I, I, give them, I give them the clean underwear, too, because, you know, Teddy Bridgewater proved himself against Seattle. Uh, and, you know, it, it was a close game against Houston. It was a bad game against the Rams, okay? But I think the two wins outweigh that one loss. And I think Teddy... Teddy, I got some faith in you. Not much, but you got to prove yourself against Dallas this week. If you're listening to this podcast <laughs> in the in the past, <laughs> anyways, uh, he they got clean underwear. Good start, good start for the Saints. Uh, all right, let's go to Detroit Lions. Their uh, record is two zero and one, so technically they're undefeated still. Uh, <laughs> last week they beat the Eagles, which is uh, that's man, crazy. Not- yeah. Not, let's not go there yet. <laughs> not, not yet. Uh, but they got Kansas City this week, so... They also beat the Chargers. The Chargers, which is a pretty good team, they beat. Um, but yeah, Kansas City this week is going to probably knock them down a peg. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, we'll, we'll see. The Lions may have uh, picked up a little spark early in the year here. Um, mm-hmm. But I think it's going to end right here because they have Kansas, Green Bay, and Minnesota in a row. Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for them. But That's... Matthew Stafford's looking pretty good this year. 831 yards, six touchdowns. Not too shabby for the veteran quarterback. Like I've always said, I, I think Matthew Stafford's a good quarterback. He's just has not been defended really well. He's taken a lot of huge sacks. I'm surprised he didn't retire instead of Andrew Luck, to be honest with you, <laughs> after last season. Yeah. Um, but uh, they also have... Marvin Jones, which is a really good receiver, uh, 200 yards receiving, pretty pretty good stats on him. I think they have a good core team here, and I think the defense is holding up. Um, but, you know, once they go against these bigger, badder, more muscly teams, we'll see if they can still hold up. But so far, they've had a pretty good, uh, a pretty pretty clean underwear, I'd say. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I um, mean, you know, they tied with the Cardinals, which they should have won. But that's my only issue right now with them is, uh, no, why did, how could they beat the Chargers but barely beat the Cardinals? So that's, like, on the fence, um, but I'll give them clean underwear. Yeah, you, you, you beat Philadelphia at Philadelphia. I think yeah. uh, you got some clean underwear here. Yeah, um, I agree with that. Yeah, you know, you know uh, the Arizona tie, I mean, I think that was just a fluke, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll see in the near future. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Kansas City. Right now, you got clean underwear, boys. All right, let's go to Obama's team, Chicago ah, Bears. The Chicago Bears. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with this one. I, sure. I'm going to give them a shirt because, oh. because they have the Vikings next week, which is going to be tough for them. Um. But that's another... We'll, we'll talk about them later. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the reason I'm giving them a shirt is because uh, the quarterback, he does not look too good. <laughs> I he, mean, yeah, he's barely beating these teams. But I think, honestly, they're doing it because of their defense. I mean, their defense last year, I think, had two of their three touchdowns. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's that's crazy. Yeah. And so, you just know, to, they Just have to, to show some stats... Defense. Uh, yeah. For Mitchell Trubisky, uh, he's only 579 yards with three touchdowns. He's at a 67% completion ratio. Not that great for a quarterback who we saw last year who had kind of had potential, and now this year it seems like he hasn't improved at all. Uh, it doesn't seem he's like he's from really the high improved. school from uh, near us. So yeah, that's near always... us. Yeah. Hometown hero. Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had a pretty good win against Washington, but it's it's not a hard thing to do to go to Washington and win. But that yeah. Denver game, they won on a fluke. 
That yeah. that clock was at zero, uh, and geez. that timeout did not go through. But they the referees called a timeout, and at least we found out they ha- that they have a kicker now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so big question: Do they have a kicker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that whole debacle through the preseason. They they lined up like <laughs> six different kickers, and they had them compete and do like sixty five yard field goals and stuff like that. It was pretty grueling to listen to hear about, but uh, I guess it all worked out in the end. But I don't think it's going to work out too well in the end for Chicago because they have a pretty, pretty tough season this year. Uh, they got to go to Min- Minneapolis this week. Uh, they have Oakland next week, but that doesn't matter. But they also have New Eng- New Orleans, the Chargers, Philadelphia, Detroit, and the Chargers again with their next few games. So it's going to be a tough year for the Chicago, and I think Mitch is playing for his for his position right now. If he, if he does not improve this year, I think that they're going to look for a new quarterback or, you know, put the backup in, which he didn't look too well good either last year, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right. I agree. I agree with a little bit of a, a little bit of a shart there. All right, moving on to Tennessee Titans. I hate this team. <laughs> not just to- because <laughs> they blew out the Browns at, in the season opener. I just hate how up and down this team is. They're impossible to follow and they're impossible to like because one week they're talking all kinds of shit. Uh, the hype wasn't real, bro. Fuck you all. And then they go and they lose to both Indianapolis and Jacksonville. And I'm guessing they're going to lose to the Falcons. Just uh, saying. Yeah. Uh, um, Marcus Mariota. Not the greatest quarterback ever. He has some good games, like with the Cleveland game. I think the Titans, during the Cleveland game, they had something to prove in that game, and they wanted to put us down a peg. But you know what? It's it's a, it's been a fluke so far. Uh, they have not... The losses have been pretty drastic. 17-19 uh, to 19 against Indianapolis, and then Jacksonville, they lost by over 15 points. So, Or, I'm sorry, they lost by... About 13 points, so it's it's uh, you know it's not it's not it's not too good looking, and their schedule isn't even that bad this year. They're going up against a lot of mediocre teams, uh, besides from Kansas City, they and New Orleans and Houston. They really don't have that bad of a uh, that bad of a, a schedule this year. But I don't see them getting farther than the wild. I don't see them even getting the wild card spot. I, I see them yeah. losing a lot of games this year. And yeah, they're, just, not, they're not going to do anything. It's not just be because I, I don't the, like them, but you know, I I just gotta be honest with you guys. I wouldn't be surprised if the only team only win is the Browns, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, don't know, I really don't have much to say about them <laughs> because yeah. I really don't follow them. I mean, around the yeah. NFL podcast says it the best. Uh, you know, which week of Mariota are we gonna get? And <laughs> if they get the bad week of Mariota, they're not winning. If they get the good week, they're winning. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll see, but I'm giving them a shirt. Yeah, the Titans are getting a big old <laughs> Looney Tune fart. All right, moving on to the Carolina Panthers. Oh no, another team that just you know I'm not a big fan of them this year, and uh, I think it's mostly because uh, they just keep trying to play Cam Newton, and they just keep getting him hurt because he's not fully healed, and they put him back in the. Oh, he's going to be better this year. No. I mean, look at last year. They took him out because of his shoulder injury. Well, he was in, you know, they didn't take him out after the first week of his shoulder injury. It was like three weeks later. And then this year he has that ankle injury that came back. Uh, Not an explosive team this year. They've only won against Arizona. um, But you back up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> they got they if they if they want to get in my good graces again, they got to win at Houston and they got to beat Jacksonville. If they don't beat those two teams, uh, not gonna follow them this year. I followed them uh, their Super Bowl run year and the year after that, and uh, hasn't haven't followed them since. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think uh, you know going back to earlier when I say go with the new guys, uh, I think Cam Newton's he's done. I mean, he only cares about fashion more than playing football. It seems like. <laughs> um. So uh, last year or uh, last week, he the new guy looked great. He threw like four touchdowns, over three hundred yards, something like that. So I think they have a bright future, and I think um, uh, if he depending how he does this week. I mean, I took a uh, Deshaun Watson, the Houston, Texas quarterback, out and replaced him with the Seattle quarterback because I just I'm afraid that Carolina is just going to get good now. Mm-hmm. So um, I yeah, we'll see. I mean, if he wins next week, I'll be like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
what's his name? Uh, Cam Newton is <laughs> what's his name? I forgot his yeah. name. <laughs> Already forget. Uh, the master of the dab and the Superman. Yeah. Um, he, I, um, I, the new guy. If he wins this week against Houston, Texas, then he's the real deal, and we will not see Cam back. Yeah, I mean, if they if they put Cam back in, I think they're just hurting the team's chances of of getting better. I think they got to start building up around another quarterback, and I think Cam's time is pretty much over. He can't run anymore. He can't really pass anymore. He was really inaccurate the past few games he was in, and then, of course, the loss against us last year. I mean, you could even see in the end zone, overthrowing guys, underthrowing guys. It just wasn't pretty, and you don't want to see that kind of thing because Cam, is a he was a good player. I mean, that year that they went to the Super Bowl was just such an explosive year for the Panthers. It was, That was the year that they could have won the Super Bowl, but, uh, uh, you know, Peyton Manning and his car insurance commercials just outdid them. <laughs> They're thinking about uh, car insurance, that old commercial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were looking All at right. his giant forehead like, how's his helmet fit? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I think we're in agreement. They're, they're a little bit of a shart right now, but they could improve. And I found time. All right, on to the next shart. Uh, Lanta Falcons. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man, what a big... I think this so far this year, this is the biggest disappointment in the NFL. Yeah. Is Falcons, they, they had... Matt Ryan, I mean, I know it's not his fault, but they have, like, the best receiver now in the NFL, Julio Jones, and a Good quarterback, Matt Ryan, and they just can't do anything, it seems like. It's crazy. Yeah, they've lost two of their three games. Matt Ryan has 928 yards, and there's about an eight touchdowns. 89% passer completion, but they just can't win. They barely two, won. So. <laughs> they barely won against Philadelphia. They won by four points, but the other games have been... Uh, I mean, I guess the one against Indianapolis wasn't that big of a loss, but their first game was a pretty big loss. Uh, if they don't go and destroy Tennessee... I think that's when you start to get a little concerned if you're a fan of the Falcons or you are, you know, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's the time to be like, Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, right now the team just doesn't look cohesive. Uh, and you can't blame, uh, Matt Ryan can't blame the fact that he's not playing in a dome because he lost at Minnesota in a dome. So, uh, you know, <laughs> take that out of the equation. All right, that's yeah, all that's I have a, to say for them. Yeah, a little bit um, of a shart there, boys. Moving on to uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Ah, the Jaguars. I uh, think... One and two um, beat yeah, the one. Titans last week, and next week, Denver. Yeah, so they're one and two right now, as you just said. Uh, small, itty-bitty loss against Houston. That was a really good game against Houston. They played well. Um, but the Kansas City loss was a big loss, and actually that is when... Your boy, Big Nick, Big Dick Nick, a.k.a. Nick Foles, got that collarbone, collar, uh, collarbone injury. He broke his collarbone, I believe it was. And after that, the team has looked 100% better. Uh, Foles was a dud, I think, going to the Jaguars. Uh, as, as you know, they lost in their playoff chances last year. Uh, the year before that, Foles looked amazing. They they went to the Super Bowl and beat the Patriots in the biggest shootout that we've seen. But yeah. he did not play well in that season opener, and then he got hurt. And now that they have, um, um, what's his name? Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew uh, in. I think the team, just like with the Browns last year, I think <clears> the team is kind of rallying more around the rookie quarterback and playing better. With that new enthusiasm, I mean, this 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 Minshew guy really reminds me of Baker Mayfield last year. He's he's got the attitude, he's got the skills, he's got the know how, and he knows where the plant put the ball when when the, they need a big touchdown. And they really like Tennessee went into this game thinking that they were going to win. They were talking things up, and they got destroyed seven twenty to seven. That's a that's a good win for Jacksonville. So Jacksonville has to keep proving themselves because obviously. They are still two and one in losses, uh, but they got Denver, Carolina, and New Orleans next. And if they beat both those teams and have a close game against New Orleans, they'll be in my good graces again. I think getting rid of Nick, uh, Mister Bortles, whatever his fuck his name was, and I think having Nick Foles go down was the best thing to happen to the Jaguars. Yeah, I mean, you said everything. I don't need to add anything. <laughs> uh, but so far, they do have a little bit of a shark going on. Yeah, big shark. Just uh, well, I'd say a little one because the, te- the Houston game was close. It was a good game, and then they beat Tennessee. So I'm going to give them a half a shirt. Half, 
Haffy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on to want want the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> want want you just want want on the Browns? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm I sorry. Who runs a draw play on fourth and nine? And a draw play is a run play, and they're not going to gain nine yards on freaking run. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, even though Nick Chubb is a great running back, probably the best that we've had in a long time. Just uh, that that should have been a pass play. You you, th- you throw a short pass and get the yards that you need. Baker seems to look uncomfortable right now in the pocket. He look, looks a little lost. Freddie Kitchen's play calling has not been that great, that stellar. Uh, we even, like, we struggled against the Jets. Even though the score was 23 to 3, we did struggle against the Jets for a while yeah, there. It should have been a lot higher than 23. Yeah. And I think over the in the preseason and before that, I think the hype just got to the players' heads. Even though they don't want to admit it, I do believe that all this hype, all this talk by everybody around the world they are on the center spotlight in the stage right now Mm -hmm. and i think it just really really got to their heads and i think this loss against tennessee was the best thing to happen to us coming out of the preseason i know no one wants to admit that but i think that took us down a peg and i think that showed us the you know the players that okay you need to show it you can't just talk about it so I think in our win against the Jets and our loss against the Rams, we showed potential. We got rid of the stupid penalties with that, with that was happening against Tennessee. Oh, our defense that's really, what killed us that game. Is yeah, was, that's really what killed us. That's ridiculous. And I think we, penalties. I think we kind of fixed those problems for the most part. We still got penalties this slide these last two games, but they weren't as devastating as they were in the first game. And then our defense has really stepped oh. up. Yeah, uh, especially they're... against the Rams offense. I mean that that was a great performance by them. Two yeah, turnovers and uh, a pickup of a fumble. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean I just have no words for this team because uh, this is they should be doing a lot better. I mean they got Odell Beckham Jr. and he's a top tier wide receiver, and they just can't do anything. Like they they're just want to do the home run ball every time. You know they want to throw fifty yard bombs. Or you know, thirty yard bombs to Odell, and it's mm-hmm. just killing them. Yeah. It's I don't think it's working. So yeah, and Baker just doesn't have the time in the pocket to do the bombs right now. I think the offensive line still needs a little bit of work. Um, I think they need. To, I think what we need to do is we need to stick to the short passes, get those small yards to add up to big yards, and uh, give feed the ball to Chubb every so often. I mean, the sure. last four plays of the game last week against the Rams reminded me so much of those last four plays against the Ravens last year where we just tried to throw the ball, force a completion at all four of those plays, and it just wasn't happening. And we had, this time around, we had two timeouts left in the pocket. We could have ran that ball on second down, third down, maybe not fourth down, but maybe by the time if we did run, we would have gotten close enough for a run. And I'm sure that they would have went for the two-point conversion. I don't I don't think that Freddie would have went for a field goal in that one. I think they would have wow. went for the two-point conversion. It was a win-or-lose scenario, and that's where the team kind of usually gets the spark back. Uh, but yeah. right now, the Browns are laying a little bit of a chart, and it's hard to say that, uh, but the season this year is pretty stacked against us. So even though we have a good team and we have good receivers and a good quarterback who's a little bit lost right now, but I think he's going to snap out of it in this Baltimore game. I think we're actually going to show Baltimore a tough game. And I think throughout the rest of these games, we're just going to keep growing as a team. We have a, like I said, we have a pretty tough schedule. We're going against against, against San Francisco, Seattle, New England, um, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, uh, and, you know, Baltimore and Cincinnati. Uh, and I mean, we do have a few of those teams that we, you know, should be a little bit of an easier game like Denver and Miami. But, uh, you know, we have a lot of stacked teams against us. And I think um, I think this year is the is a is a we just have a bad schedule this year. I, I you know, we we're still a team that's growing and learning. And it's it's, a, it's not the best schedule for that. Let me tell you that much. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> All right, so uh, they got a they got a shark going on. It's a it's a full shark. We're not we're not sugarcoating this. They, they, yeah. Our favorite team in in the NFL can't sugarcoat it. Full, full shark. All right. All right. Moving on to another shark. Uh, Philadelphia Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, uh, starting off one and two. Uh, lost to the Lions twenty seven and twenty four. Next week tonight actually. Uh, Green Bay Packers. Yeah, they've only. 
have they only played two games? No, they're third games, one and two. Huh. For some reason, this website's showing uh, they've only played two games. That's so weird. Oh, big F. Big F. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, they're, they're laying a bit of a chart right now. Um, and I, yeah, They I, lost to the Redskins, I think, right? Or did they end up winning that game? It they, was the won, they did win against because the, they had a big comeback against the Redskins, but they've lost against Atlanta, which they should have won, and Detroit, which was a pretty close game as well. They've had two, you know, three close games. Um, and Green Bay, it's another one of those scenarios where if you don't win this next game, next two games, uh, it's time to start uh, hanging up the hats. <laughs> it's time to start playing <laughs> taps. Uh, yep. Because the rest of their season, their season schedule is not easy with Minnesota, Dallas, and the like. Um, yeah, I have, no, plus, I have nothing else to mean. Plus, I don't believe in Carson Wentz. This is a quarterback yeah, no. that so many people are like for gung ho for, and you look at yeah, his record like these past two weeks. Yeah, yeah it's it's, so it's really bad. It's bad. <laughs> and then he's always injury prone. If he, I mean, over under, he's going to get injured this year once. <laughs> I think you go over on that. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so we'll see what happens. I guess um, if if they don't get it together soon, they're chances for going to the playoffs are lost yeah i mean it's only week three but I mean. oh, look at their schedule <laughs> i yeah. mean if, if, if they don't win these next few games they're not winning any games the rest of the year so yeah that's true i agree with that so, all right so shark we agree. big uh, big shark. next uh the next la team uh los angeles chargers the record chargers. one and two lost to the texas 27-20, next week, they have the poor Miami Dolphins. <laughs> yeah. uh, they better win this game <laughs> against <laughs> Miami. Um, Chargers looked good last year, and then they gave up during the playoffs, and it looks like they've kept that give-up mentality for this year so far. Um, close games, uh, but you gotta you got to win against Detroit, and you got to at least... You know, put up a bit more of a fight against Houston. Like, come on. Yeah. Uh, They have their star uh, running back returning this week. Or not this week. Next week, uh, his they ended up. He ended his holdout. So that's fun. So they should. We should see a little spark in them after this week. But (laughs) no, they lose to the Dolphins. Oh man. (laughs) It's hard to believe that anyone would lose to the Dolphins, but anything's possible. Anything's possible. Um, their schedule isn't that bad looking forward. I mean, they got, like you said, Miami. Uh, they also have Denver to go against Pittsburgh. And then Tennessee and Chicago. Really, the hardest, the toughest team they have to go against is Minnesota this year. So mm-hmm. if they don't make it to the playoffs, I'd be very surprised. But they're starting off on a bad foot. But I think that they can, I think they can correct themselves, especially because their star running backs coming back. And Phillip Rivers is a good quarterback. He has 944 yards this year uh, with five and touchdowns. He has like 900 kids too. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of kids. Uh, he's got he's got to keep paying those bills. Uh, but right now, Chargers are looking like uh, looking like the power's out. I agree. Is that, with a, good that. One? Is that a good one? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Shart. <laughs> Shart. <laughs> All right, moving along. Let's go to Minnesota Vikings. Record ah. two and one. Uh, last week they beat the Raiders, thirty-four to fourteen. Yes. This week they have the Chicago Bears. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Bears. Um, the Bears. So I think that Vikings have shown gusto this this year so far. Um, Green Bay, the loss against Green Bay, I would blame on Kirk Cousins. He just was not yeah. playing good, but he redeemed himself in Oakland. I mean, winning thirty-four to fourteen is 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 pretty good. Um, obviously their defense has been pretty good. I uh, haven't let up more than 15 points in two different games. Uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in the Vikings. I want to see what they can do right now. They're a little bit middle of the road, uh, but I think that they have the potential to be a top tier team this year. Yeah. Um, I give them clean underwear, maybe, maybe a little smelly underwear. I don't know. Like, <laughs> or, or the underwear, no, too many days. Um, Oh, I'm a clean underwear so far. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what they're this week. They have the Bears, which should be easy for them to, you know, win against. Yeah. Um. But other than that, I mean, what else are you gonna say? You know, it's just so far they look good. Yeah. This year they have a little bit of a tougher schedule 
They got to go to Arrowhead Stadium then on, on week nine and beat Kansas City. And also they have Dallas the next week. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I, I think if, if they go and they beat Chicago by a large margin and the Giants, or the, I'm sorry, yeah, the Giants by a large margin, I think uh, they can do a little bit of a sigh of relief. Fans can do a sigh of relief for the Vikings. Um, and then, of course, they got to prove themselves in Philadelphia. If uh, Those are the three games that will decide the fate of this team. I pulled, All right. my, I pulled that out of my ass, but uh, at least they have clean underwear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, let's go to Houston, Texas. Two uh, and one. Yeah. Beat the Chargers twenty-seven to twenty. Next this week they have Carolina Panthers. Dude, that New Orleans game we watched illegally was <laughs> really just top tier football. If you can, go back and watch that game. It was such a great performance by both teams. It really came down to the last seconds of that game. And um, this this that game showed that you should never give Drew Brees any time on the clock to do anything because he is that good of a quarterback. But Deshaun Jackson, uh, not Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Watson, sorry, excuse me, has really shown himself to be a good quarterback this year. And I think that he's they're just going to get better this year as they go on. Uh, they got Carolina and Atlanta these next two games. And then they have Kansas City. They got to go to Kansas City. And I think this is where, I know I've been saying this a lot, but this is where they prove themselves is when they go up against Kansas City and they go, hey, we're taking over Arrowhead. And they dominate Kansas City or have a really close game. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the, you know, the, the loss or the win against Jacksonville was very, very close. They definitely should have won by a larger margin. And same thing with the Chargers game. You know, the Texans and the Chargers are pretty equal, but I wouldn't say that Jacksonville and the Char- and the and the te- Texans are equal. Um, yeah. So I, they got a little bit of work to do offensively and defensively, of course. But I think that they're another. I mean, I think they can go back to the playoffs this year if they keep it up. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they, they look fun to watch. Uh, they're becoming your favorite team this year. Yeah, they're uh, one of the teams that I'm watching this year. Um, they're, they have potential. I think we'll see them in the playoffs, maybe a deep run into the playoffs, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, they're and, so far, they have clean underwear. And don't forget, uh, Duke Johnson. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, we're, we're happy we traded him now. Um, uh, Duke Johnson was our backup to Chubb. He's only got 90 yards, no touchdowns. Not too, not doing too hot. Not doing too hot. Uh, I've had to replace him on my fantasy league because he's been doing so bad. Yeah, and that's uh, probably a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, he's never a uh, you know our running back one type guy. So yeah, can't really blame him. All right, so they got clean underwear, guys. All right, we're nailing it down here. Um, yeah, we got Baltimore uh, Ravens. Five teams: Baltimore Ravens. Ah. Two and one? I don't even remember them losing. Who did they lose to? The old Browns. They lost to Kansas City this last week. Oh, yeah, that's right. They lost this week. Yeah. Uh, another lost another good game. Another good game. Uh, Ravens, Ravens uh, staged a comeback late in the third quarter, I believe, and they kept it rolling, but it wasn't soon enough. Yeah, uh, Lamar Jackson, he looks uh, good. <laughs> like, really Top good. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to say as good as... Uh, Patrick Mahomes, but he's up there. I mean, he's making a case for it. But yeah. he, the whole team looks good. They got Mark Ingram from the Saints over the off season, which is a huge addition. And uh, the Marquise Brown, the cousin of Antonio Brown, um, mm-hmm. he looks good too. So I think Hollywood Brown. They're they're forming a good duo, not a duo, a trio over there. So. We'll, we will see in the future, but right now they have clean underwear. Yeah, uh, they are first overall in total yardage with 511.7 yards total. Mm-hmm. And uh, just to put it in perspective, Lamar Jackson, 800, 863 yards with seven touchdowns. Most of those yardages came from against the game against Miami, of course, where they won 59-10. Yeah. to 10. That, was a, that was a blowout uh, like no other. Um, a yeah. little bit closer game against Arizona, of course. They lost against Kansas City. Uh, so they their schedule is not too bad this year. Um, they do have a few of those heavier teams like Houston and and Kansas City this year. But uh, uh, this next game we're playing against them. Of course, I want the Brownies to win. But if Baltimore wins, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest with you. 
Yeah, they are I don't either. Team. I hope I hope our defense can contain them, but we shall see. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Lamar does more running in this game than he's done in the past few ones. He he might be able to stretch his legs a little bit more, but I'm hoping our defense can keep up their good streak and yeah. hit him, hit him, hit him hard. Hit, hit him where it hurts. <laughs> and uh, uh-huh. yeah, we're agreeing clean underwear. All right, moving on, the Green Bay Packers. Ah, the land of cheese. Cheesehead. 3-0, and uh, beat the Broncos last week, 27-16. to uh, This week, Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. Green Bay, um, surprising, coming off of last year. Uh, Aaron Rodgers looks better this year than he did last year, which is you know, it's it, it's <laughs> weird to crazy. say that because he still <laughs> looked good last year, even with, like, an injured knee. Um, they, of course, just, you know, they, they took Deshaun Kaiser off their off their list, uh, so that's That's good. it. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> that's probably what <laughs> has been elevating them a little bit in in the stats here. Uh, good team. You know, I, I'm not going to say that the, that they're anything less than a good team. Um, they, they've gone against some good teams. Minnesota was not, was a pretty good, ge- pretty good team, good game. And now they got to go to the Philadelphia and Dal ass to prove themselves even more. Yeah, hopefully. All right, moving along. That's it for them. Yay. <laughs> clean underwear. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the Packers. So it's, it's yeah. like, how many teams we got left? Let's we see. got three uh, left. So we got. New England Patriots. Can oh. we just say clean underwear? I mean, they they look as dominant as they ever could be, and it's crazy scary. Honestly, from right now, I think they're winning it, like winning the Super Bowl again, oh, thing, unfortunately. Man. Hopefully, Kansas City can do something to stop them, but uh, Patriots defense just looks so good, like compared to last year or any time like throughout their era like this is the best defense they've ever had um and i'm glad antonio brown's not on the team anymore because if he was then that would be crazy <laughs> but yeah um i think yeah that they, they, they probably have the cleanest underwear out of all the underwears today yeah when we say domination um if you look up domination in the dictionary, it is the 2019 Patriots this year. Um, yeah, <laughs> they they are not messing around. Uh, 33 and three against Pittsburgh, 43 zero Miami, and 30 the 14 Jets. Yeah, nothing to scoff at. Um, and I'll stop calling them the Patri Rats uh, if there's no more controversial calls. So far, not 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 too many. Um, they have probably the. Uh, just, just a perfect schedule for a team like this. They're going to remain dominant throughout this whole year. The only team that I'm, cons- you know, that they probably should be concerned about. I mean, I wouldn't say the Buffalo Bills, but I would say uh, they definitely got to watch out for um, Kansas City later in the year. But of course, Kansas City is coming to them, so it's going to be a much easier game for them to win with the home field advantage. So we'll yeah. see how that plays out. And I think that we're going to be seeing another. Patriots versus Kansas City. We're gonna see a rematch in the playoffs this year for who gets the crown. Yep, I mean, there's just stuff to say. I mean, they're just so scary how good, good they are. It's it's crazy. Do it's you think just... uh, Gronkowski is gonna come back? Not this year. The way they look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So cleanest underwear in the NFL confirmed. All right, let's go to the New York Jets. Mono, uh, Sam Darnold. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Darnold has mono, everyone. Uh, yes. He has an enlarged spleen. Um, last week they lost to the Patriots 30-14. to This week they don't play anyone. They have a bye. Yeah, it's lucky for them. Uh, they've <laughs> suffered two big injuries with... Uh, Tom, you know, I guess it's not an injury, but Sam Darnold is out, of course, with mono. And then uh, Miles Garrett just destroyed their backup quarterback's ankle. <laughs> He's like, get uh, out of here, fool. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, their other backup who came in, I don't even remember his name, uh, played uh, okay. Falk. Yeah, Falk. Falk. He played Falk. okay, but um, their best player on the team right now is Levon Bell, and they said that if their backup backup quarterback gets hurt, Bell is going to be their quarterback. <laughs> so that <laughs> really... Kinda... 
That's is it bad something. that I want to see that though? I mean, I do want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that. You're not. That's not wrong of you to say. Um, I believe right now they are lowest in total yards. They are 32nd overall with 196 yards only. So that is the lowest team, 32nd overall, right? There's the 32 teams. Not yeah. good. Not looking good. Uh, the Jets came into this year with high hopes. And pretty much from game one, those hopes have crashed down, down, down. The loss against Buffalo was embarrassing simply because they were in the lead for the whole game. And then the last quarter, they practically let the game go. And then don't even talk about the Cleveland game or the New England game. Just embarrassing losses to both those yeah both those games uh, and they don't have an easy schedule they have to go they have to they have to face new england again in two weeks that is yeah, how crappy their schedule is yeah that's, uh, that's no bueno <laughs> yeah so i think uh, i think the jets i think it's it's good I, I think we can you know shovel the dirt onto the grave and close it up because i think they're done for this year yes. I, I know it's only th- week three but i, I think don't think done. sam donald can even save this team yeah uh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, big, 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 probably the biggest, sh- well, no, not the biggest, no, no not no, the sir, biggest, sir. I say this one for last for a reason, yay, <laughs> yay, all right, the Miami Dolphins, womp, fins womp, up, womp. <laughs> the yeah. biggest one of the, yeah, um, uh, I never seen a team NFL. get outscored by their opponent, 117 to like 10, <laughs> like yeah, dolphins, dolphins have like 10 points fight. within three games yeah that's like worse than the 0 and 16 browns yeah <laughs> that's crazy that is yeah, if if this dolphins team goes 0 and 16 they gotta be more embarrassed than the 0 and 16 browns uh not even comparable at least some of those games were close for the browns but so far they have lost by in every game they have lost by pretty much over 20 points Every every single game. Uh, the closest game they had was six to thirty one at Dallas. Six to thirty one. Yeah, <laughs> we're saying that's close. Come that on. was that was the closest game they had. Uh, contrary to ten to fifty nine against Baltimore and o and forty three against New England. It was it, it's it's a uh, it's the downfall of the Dolphins. Uh, that's all you gotta say. They 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 are. They're Taking losing on the purpose heart. this week. They are yeah. losing on purpose this year, I should say. Just so next year... I mean, we already know next year they have, like... How many picks in the first round? Like, five? Too many. No, Too way many. more than that. They have way more than that, yeah. They have, like, every so, pick in the draft. I think this year they're going to be down and out. They're going to probably try and lose as many games as they can. Uh, Dolphins fans, don't put your fins up. Keep them down. Don't... <laughs> uh, but I think, I think next year... I think they're going to get some good draft picks, of course, and I think they're going to come back with a vengeance. I don't yeah. think they're going to beat the Patriots this year. Um, <laughs> no. I Miracle don't think they're Miami even going to beat happen. the Washington Redskins this year. I think what that, if they uh, do, though? What if they go 1-15, in 15 and, but the one win is Patriots? Oh, that would be great. That would be a pretty good story, but uh, <laughs> Not I, think, I think that's, it's more of a, a, um, a fable than a than a true events um <laughs> yeah, I yeah the dolphins are laying the biggest chart this time around not saying their schedule's easy going on but uh you gotta i mean if if the dolphins want to prove anything if they want to keep their fans invested in this in this team uh you gotta beat washington you gotta beat buffalo and you also definitely definitely have to beat cincinnati <laughs> There's yes. there's no way around it. If you're not beating the more easier teams like the Jets or anything like that, yeah, your your season's over. I think their season's already over. Like just with just like with the Jets, the, it, the, you know, if if we were shoveling the dirt onto the grave of the Jets, uh, Miami Dolphins has been in the ground since week one. <laughs> yeah, the Miami Dolphins is under the Jets, and they're just <laughs> two birds, one stone. You know, shoveling dirt on both of them. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, not looking good. Not looking good. Uh, where's the Fitz magic? Uh, well, you see, he started, so he has to come in as a reliever. So uh, he has to come in mid game, and that's where the fit, uh, the Mitz magic comes in. So, does uh, Brian Flores lose his job this year? Uh, I hope not, because it's his first year. What are you gonna do? 
You can't fire a first year coach. No. Ha, ha, have you been with the, the Browns? Uh, uh, they never. They didn't fire a first year coach. I mean, yeah, it, <laughs> uh, they. I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, Mike Putton. Uh, I don't think he was a first year. Uh, I think they kept him around for two years. Nah, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can we just say that Hugh Jackson was a first year coach? But he wasn't. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, I think we're going to play the sound effect twice for the Dolphins. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jenny. I don't, know who I, I don't know who I'm saying sorry to. I mean, anyone who's been watching the Dolphins know <laughs> that uh, they're definitely the last place team in the league. Surprisingly, have more yards than the Jets. Just barely, though. Just barely. Hey, it counts. <laughs> it counts in hand shoes and hand grenades. Wait, I said that wrong. Horseshoes that and hand doesn't grenades. Matter. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, that's should it. Should do it, right? That's that's all. All the shards have been sharded, and all the underwear uh, has been cleaned. Uh, well, um, what are? <laughs> I mean, let's quickly go over. What are your top five teams this year, Nick? Uh, no specific order. Don't has doesn't have to be in a spe- specific. Uh, order. Top five. I'll go Packers, Chiefs, Patriots. Um, shoot. <laughs> uh, Ravens. No, well, yeah, I'll throw the Ravens in there. And uh, Dallas, Dallas. Yeah. What? What's Even the though, biggest? Actually, no. What's... I'll put the Rams in instead of Dallas. Oh, the Rams. Okay. The Rams. Yeah. I'm, I was gonna ask. Um, since we talked last time about the NFL, we did the Madden ratings w- a few weeks ago. What is the most improved team since week one? Most improved since week one. Well, it's not the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, least, San Francisco Forty Nine ers So let's yeah, say. I agree with that. That's a good one. All right. Um, last question, of course. Uh, what's the team you want to see fail this year? Uh, Patriots, of course. <laughs> <laughs> any different than any <laughs> any other year? Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, right. the Patriots or the Steelers, always. <laughs> yeah. And I already got that one. Was Steelers are not looking too good. <laughs> Well, uh, Nicholas, uh, it's been almost an hour and 30 minutes, but uh, hey, thanks for coming on, talking some American football. Uh, we may have some some something in the works for the future, maybe a, maybe a football podcast, <gasps> maybe. Uh, we're still talking about it, thinking it over, mulling it over. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a tall order to do a football podcast, especially because like, every week it's 32 teams, and you know it's a lot to talk about. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe some sometime this year you might see a NFL podcast pop up that's not Yummy Cast. <gasps> but we shall see. We Anyways, shall see. Uh, Nicholas, anything you want to say before we do our touchdown Fortnite dances? Uh, go Browns! Go Browns! All right. Well, I am <laughs> Yummy the Ferret. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Yummy Cast, the video game podcast, which premieres on Sundays at 9:30 a.m., just like this one right now, and it also premieres on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time for both of those. It's on Spotify, SoundCloud, and Apple Podcasts uh, on the same day every week. So you can check it out there if you want to. If you're driving around, you know, don't know what to do, maybe speeding. Yeah, I see you fellows speeding down the road. Um, You know, you can listen to us anywhere you want to. It's like having me in your pocket and Nick on your shoulder. Anyways, thank you for listening once again. I am Yemi the Ferret, and I've been here with... Crazy Waffle. And this has been another episode of YemmyCast, the video game podcast. It's Sunday night.